Hi, we're going to go ahead and do a glute flow that's going to streamline your hips, strengthen your glutes without tightening them up. So we're going to be using the mini mats, and I find it most comfortable to do this from the rounded end. So you're going to go ahead and lie down with your pelvis on top, stack your hands on top of one another, elbows are wide. And so then you want to make sure that your um, uh, toes are touching the mat um, and they feel light so that when I lift, the work goes into my glute. If I'm further back, it's going to go into my back and my shoulders come up. So just find your position where your legs feel light, um, but your feet are still down. Elbows wide, no tension in neck and shoulders. Tummy in. Single leg extension. We're going to lift the leg, pause, reach that leg longer, squeeze the front thigh to make sure your uh, knee is not bending. So we lift, pause, reach that leg long. So that's going to be a continual thought that we're going to be doing through this workout. Meaning every time that you lift that leg, you're going to try to reach from the hip through the straight knee and out through the toe. So we're really going to have that intention of length and that's going to help us streamline our hips. Very good. The other thing is you want to really make sure here that your knee is straight by squeezing your thigh because sometimes the hamstring wants to work over the glute. Right? And so when you get up here and then your knee is softly bent, and then if you find that you can straighten it, you're doing too much hamstring. Try to keep that leg straight as you lift and as you lower. Now we're going to double the fun and lift both legs. Relax your neck and face and then lower down. So you lift, squeeze those thighs, reach those legs long, and then bring it back down. Focus that work in your glutes, squeeze your thighs, abs are in, legs long, and lift and reach. That's got to be your intention throughout this workout. My legs are open and they're still turned out. Very good. We're going to do four more and then we're going to keep our legs lifted and go into a heel squeeze position and then release. So that's three. And let's just have two. Very good. And on this one, you're going to keep your legs up. You're going to bend your knees and get your heels together, toes point away. Now lengthen your legs back to the straight position and they're open. Bend your knees, get your heels together, toes apart. Lengthen those legs to straight. You should definitely be feeling your glutes here. So we're stabilizing the femur otherwise known as the thigh bone, in the hip socket as we bend and extend. And that's what makes it hard. Very good. And then from here, maybe when you straighten your legs, ever so slightly try to lift those legs, especially as you're getting tired. So you want to keep those legs high. Excellent. And now on this one, we're just going to keep those legs straight and we're going to come up onto our elbows. So I just feel like I need to push forward a little bit. So you want to really draw up your low tummy, reach your head away from your toes. Legs are nice and straight. And let's start to flutter kick. Flutter, flutter, flutter. That's it. Choose your tummy in, shoulders down. Reach the head away from your toes as you flutter kick, just like you're in the pool, trying to find that work in your glutes with nice, long, reaching legs. And then pause. Nice. And then if you have a tight spine, go ahead and put your hands outside of the mat. If you're more flexible in extension, then they can be on the mat. So we're going to do swan dive. So squeeze those legs nice, squeeze your bottom, Try to look out, lifting those legs high, and rock it back. This is one of the exercises that I love, and I always had a hard time with this on a regular arc barrel, because it was just too hard on my bony parts, specifically that pubic bone. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I was like, I gotta figure out how to make an arc barrel that's softer. Yeah, and then the Minimax was born. Very good. 
And then from there, just go ahead and round your spine over the mini max just to relax your spine into slight flexion. Inhale into your low back to improve that sense of stretch. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale. Yeah, so wonderful. I hope you like that really quick targeted flow with the mini max. Please spread the word. I appreciate all your support. See ya.